Hey guys, so for this video, we're going to look at how you can create a crossword puzzle online and have your students complete them online. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to crosswordlabs.com. Obviously, you can give your crossword a title. And then all you have to do is put the word down first that you want them to know. So let's say, for example, uh, the word is table, and then you put a space after it, and then you give your clue. So maybe it you know, it's where you eat dinner in the dining room or something like that. And then you go through it and you put all your clues. So you put the word and then space and then the clue. I just copy and pasted several other clues that I had earlier. And what's nice here is if I click away from this box down here, like up here, it makes everything nice and even. So you can kind of see where your clues start and what your words are over here. If you have a word that's like maybe multiple words, make sure you don't put a space between them. Uh, so like if your answer was the table, you would want to have to put, you have to put the table like that without a space between it. When you're done, you'll scroll down. Now, if you want to be able to come back and edit this later, you're going to have to create a passcode for it, I believe. Uh, so do that if you want to. But I'm going to save and finish. Now, if I want to get this to my students, all I have to do is click share. And I'm going to get them this focus mode URL. So I'll copy that. And then I'll show you what it looks like on their end. If I paste it into a new window, this is what they'll see. So they have the clues down here at the bottom and then the words up here. Let's take a look at what it looks like when I get one right and when I get one wrong. So if I click over here, the number two, it takes me to where that number two is. Or if you want to, you can just click through out here also. But let's do number two. So where I sit while eating, that was table. So I'll just type table. And then if I click somewhere else, it'll put a red X or a green check mark next to the number two over here telling me if I'm right or wrong. So I got that wrong one wrong. Where I sit while eating. Oh, that was the other word. Okay, so that one's chair. Okay. There you go. So that one's correct now. But the green check mark. Let's do one down so you can see one more. It's where you eat dinner in the okay, so that was table. T A B L E. Enter. And then it's correct. So when you're done, what I had my students do is just screenshot their crossword puzzle and email it to me. They can zoom out if they need to be able to see more of the crossword puzzle. And they can scroll up and down. If you have more than 10 or clues, then the list list becomes longer. And they can just scroll up and down here, scroll up and down here. And then if this is really big, this also scrolls up and down. Let's take a look at what this looks like on a cell phone, just so you can get the idea um, if the students have to complete it that way. Hey guys, so this is what it looks like on a cell phone. Uh, this is the same crossword puzzle we were just looking at. So that's kind of smashed, obviously, because the screen is smaller. But you can scroll up and down and the clues over here. Uh, you can also scroll up and down on these clues over here. And then for the crossword puzzle, you can move it up and down. You can also zoom in and out with the three lines over here, like that. So let's do one. Uh, we'll do eight across really quick, uh, which is where we watch TV in the house. That's the living room. So the problem here is that this keyboard comes up, and it's kind of hard to see what you're typing. Uh, living room. OK, and you can see it turned green because I got it correct. And then they turn red like that garden one does if you get it wrong. And then if the student wanted to, they could just uh, take a screenshot of their answers and send it to you if they want to turn in. I also wanted to mention one more thing, and that's when you finish your crossword puzzle and you get that link for your students, what I've been doing is I copy this link and I create a, a Google Doc, and I will post the links to all of the crossword puzzles that I have, say, for a any given lesson in that Google Doc, so I can go back and reference that any time. It's also a good idea to keep this URL right here, because this URL, like if I copy it, now I'm going to close out this window right here. And let's close out this window. I'm just going to close out all my Crossword Labs windows. I'm going to put that link back in here. The reason you want to keep get that link is because that's the link that will allow you to go back and edit it if you later find out that you've made a mistake. There is an option to print these also. Uh, so I'll show you what that looks like really quick. If I go to focus mode, down here, there's an option to print. If the crossword puzzle isn't very big, then it looks fairly nice. But when it becomes really big, what I've found is that a lot of the clues get cut off and they actually don't even show up at all on the print copy. So printing isn't great yet as far as I can see, but being able to do them online is a really good way to have students do crossword puzzles. All right, if you have questions, let me know in the, in the comment section. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.